Hey, what's going on, my YouTube friends? Hey, uh, this is JC Bass Fishing. I'm uh, recording over here from Lake Oconee. We have an F FLW BFL going on this weekend, so we're here on Friday for the meeting. We have the tournament tomorrow. And uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I want to show you my setup with my truck camper. Right here in the back is my truck camper. Uh, it's a Lance 825, just for two people, but that's all right. That's all I need. It gives me everything that I need, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you my camper so that way you can see my setup. So when I go fishing the FLW BFLs, this is what I do. I'm gonna stay away from the front of the camera so that way I can show you uh, how the camper looks and all the, stu all the stuff that the camper has uh, to make it easier. And you, I, I got tired of staying in hotels and all the boats and all, all, the, you know, all the traffic and all the stuff. So I decided to get me a truck camper and. Uh, and it's helping a lot. It's, it's a relaxed environment. I'm over here in a campsite, in a campground over here in Lake Oconee, and uh, it's beautiful. And it's relaxing. I can get all my stuff done. I can get all my tackle done. I can retie. I can do everything, and I don't have to worry about nobody messing around, anybody driving around, stuff like that. So let me show you the camper. All right, right here is the right side of the camper. You see it's got an awning on it and uh, we move the picnic table right under the awning. So what we do is uh, we already tied up all our rods and reels and retied all the lures that we're gonna be using this weekend. Uh, and the right side has got uh, a couple of windows. You can open both windows, you can crack them open so you can see, uh, you can get air ventilation inside the camper. This is the entrance to the camper. Okay, you got uh, the stair that goes up to the roof. It's got an air conditioner on the top, and also you can see my tube right there for my rods. That's where I carry all my extra rods uh, when I go to the tournaments. And when I have to change my plan, uh, since I'm competing as a co-angler, you know, sometimes uh, when you meet your boater and you start talking to your boater about what's going to happen next day, and he tells you what the plan of attack is going to be, then sometimes you got to retie so, some of your rods and, and change uh, what you have. So I bring some extra uh, um, rods and I keep them up there for that specific uh, situation. Let's go inside the camper. Uh, right here inside, right here, this door over here on the right side is a wet bath. And you can see it's got a shower head right here. It's got uh, a fan to get some ventilation in it. It's got a toilet. So we I got all my stuff over here. So it's got everything that you need when you go to a campground and they got a sewage system. Uh, that's uh, right here. You see it's got a sink. So you can do your dishes and all the stuff. There's your coffee maker and the stove right here. Uh, you got a microwave right here and you got a stereo system. So you got some music and stuff. Those right here are the controls for the camper. Uh, it's got the water heater and this over here is a monitor to keep t track of your, your tanks for your uh, uh, gray water, your black water and your fresh water. Uh, right here is the refrigerator. Uh, it's a small one, but it has everything you can keep in here, everything that is necessary for, you know, fishing a weekend or if a week you're going to be fishing for a week, you can go and buy some groceries and have, to have everything. You can't live without, with, you can leave home without these ones. You got to have those. Uh, there is the TV. That's my partner in crime, Hector. He's going to be fishing this weekend with us. And this right here is the seating area. It's got a table and it also converts into a bed. So this is going to be his bed for tonight and tomorrow night. And that's my bed over there for the weekend. That's a queen size short uh, bed. And I have a vent over the, over the bed. So if it's fresh outside, all I got to do is open that window right there in the bed and get some fresh air inside. It's got a couple of uh, storage areas right here in the top. So where I keep my extra stuff right here in this too. 
and it's got some storage underneath the underneath the seating area that's where I keep all my cleaning stuff uh, so this basically is the camper um, it's not big but it has everything that is necessary look at this campground it is beautiful over here I mean this is relaxing I don't have to worry about no hotels you know all the cramp of people and all the stuff look I got a partner over there he's gonna be fishing tomorrow most likely and right here is the left side of the camper uh, that's the electrical connector right there and the water connection right here so I have water and I have electricity uh, got, I have a couple of uh, storage areas on the outside that's why I keep all my cables and all stuff this is a water heater it's a six gallon water heater to keep you take some hot uh, showers and this right here is my propane tank for my stove so it's got everything uh, I mean I don't need anything else uh, the camper is very comfortable and um, everything that I have that I need to do for the tournaments and even going just camping uh, it provides me with everything that I need so um, I just wanted to show you uh, my camper and my setup for the tournaments so uh, thanks for watching uh, if you like the video please go ahead and click that thumbs up over here in, in the bottom also uh, if you have any comments or if you want to let me know what your setup is uh, go ahead in the comment area and, and put your uh, comments down there if you have any questions go ahead and ask me the questions and I'll be I'll be quick to uh, get back to you so uh, make sure you subscribe because I got more uh, videos for you coming up in the future so thank you for watching see you in the next video